Hello, my name is Harold. This is Tech on Tech, and today I'm going to cover the sleep settings in Windows 11. All right, uh, by sleep settings, I actually mean the power and sleep settings and stuff like that. This is uh, how fast your screen turns off, how fast your computer goes to sleep. Uh, in either case, you just move the mouse around and it comes right back to life. Uh, it actually used to be a hibernate feature, but it looks like they've just completely it's probably not completely gone but it's like not used anymore in this particular version uh but let's go ahead and get into the windows 11 stuff that we can change go ahead and click on the search button here we can go ahead and type in sleep which will view uh your recent sleep time or change when your pc sleeps when plugged in i actually had it come up either way uh in fact actually you can go down here this is probably the best one to go to settings power sleep and battery settings but just in case you don't see that you can also click on the windows logo here you can go to settings or you can type it here in search and same thing wherever you go it's just going to be under sleep and uh power sleep battery settings it actually works if you go to this one too change when the pc sleeps are plugged in it's all in the same settings all right they kind of condensed everything into this set here now right here i've got the preferred settings for what i think is best for most people out there you may not meet both my, may not be most people you may have different settings and configurations but as this is a laptop i thought this is pretty cool and uh now on battery turn off after five when plugged in turn screen off after 10 on battery put or actually hold on it should be plugged in hold on on battery turn my screen off after five when plugged in actually i'm going to adjust this it's actually better at five and 15 and then uh, plugged in turn my screen off after 15 yeah that's fine on battery put my device do i sleep after so i'm going to make that 30 when plugged in or on battery no 15 and 30 there we go yeah it should be 15 30 and then actually i'm gonna change that to 10 all right sorry i had to change those around a little bit uh no sorry these are the uh sorry better settings on battery 5 and 10 when plugged in 15 and 30 and basically at any point you walk away you can just come back and move the mouse around and it just wakes it right back up uh if you want to uh if you have like operations running in the background and stuff like that like i have a program that donates cpu power to uh very scientific projects and stuff like that obviously you're just going to want the screen to turn off and you're not going to want the uh the uh computer to go to sleep so uh, i would honestly if, if you have it plugged in and uh you have it doing stuff in the background obviously you use the screen turning off the difference of course being that screen turning off uses less power but going to sleep uses a lot less power it used to be there was a uh, a mode called hibernate that i didn't dig too much into i'm sure it's in there and that used even less power because it virtually turned the computer off but there were a lot of problems with that because programs would go down and then they wouldn't want to wake back up again it was just a huge disaster for microsoft but uh, generally speaking these are the uh, best settings as i said um if you do have stuff running in the background and you just you need that to continue running and then you come back and you move the mouse and it comes back on and whatever just uh go in and uh just turn screen off after 15 but then uh change the uh sleep setting to where it's just uh set to never go off and uh that sounds kind of ridiculous i don't well i wouldn't do continuous operations on something that was a battery but I, you could also do that if uh if you want to do it in the battery settings too and it'll just run until it dies if you do do that all right guys i hope that helps some people um my recommended settings are let's see five and ten for screen and sleep and then 15 and 30 for plugged in screen and sleep uh there's also another really really neat setting here too um i love this setting uh if you have a high power a computer like a gaming computer and stuff like that you've just set it up and you want to get the best performance out of it switch it to best performance mode here and what that will do is uh set the low bar a little bit higher so that it's always like more power on demand and that will just well it's just it's more power it's just you can go in you can benchmark and stuff like that. i've seen these well yeah i've run these benchmarks and you just you get more power when you run this thing at best performance mode i may make a video in the future where i go over that more but that's basically the sleep settings and uh, other stuff uh, my recommendation for the best settings that's how to get to it that's how you can modify it stuff like that and then same thing it's electricity use it's just turning off the screen saves a little bit of electricity but putting it to sleep saves a lot more electricity but when you put it to sleep stuff stops running in the background so you should definitely keep that in mind if uh, if you're going to do that um it doesn't look like hibernation made a uh, big reappearance in windows 11 
but uh, that's okay. It was kind of unstable anyway, and I didn't recommend it. In fact, I always just disable it on any computer I'm working on. All right, guys, if you have any questions or stuff you'd like to see in future content, um, I'm actually thinking of changing the name and just doing how-to videos from now on. Uh, so the, uh, the name at the beginning may change, but, uh, you know, I take recommendations and stuff like that, uh, stuff you'd like to see. I do a ton of computer stuff. Uh, that's it, guys. Have a great rest of the day, and uh, have a good one.